Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming, I'm HBFT and we are back again with Among Trees. On the last episode, we used our brand new tent to explore the entire periphery of the map. Now all we gotta do is fill it in. I can't wait to see how we get on. We're gonna head to bed and as soon as we get up, we're gonna head out to the... I think we'll go northwest, kind of to the large tree area, and then we'll start our exploration from there. Previously, we you can kind of see what we did. On the very last episode, we kind of headed into this direction here. We followed all the way along the edge here. And right now, I feel like the best place to go is we'll head up over here, and then we'll crisscross out, kind of check that whole area out. Let's do it. We've got two pots of food. We're going to head out to the north. There we go. Uh, kind of there. Since a large tree is a point of interest, I'm hoping that... Being near points of interest will lead us to more points of interest. And plus, we haven't explored a lot of the area to the north. Obviously, we've headed to the south quite a lot, just because every time we've headed to the south, it's the closest place where you can find bolts, steel wires, things like that, that we're aware of. Through here, through here. Here we go. This is where we exited from, and I was like, man, there's like some kind of wind tunnel or something like that that you gotta go through. So I guess these are the types of groves that you can expect to see as far as like points of interest go. They don't like look crazy different, but color wise, God, it's freaking like a an elven grove or something. I'm going to chop this down. You're going to find resin in here. This is for sure a large tree. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> There you go. See, they got resin. Large resin. Definitely want the sticks. These fat, chunky sticks. Probably the most valuable thing here. We'll leave the planks. Uh, all right, let's go around the edges here. See the edges of the grove. Is it cold? I don't want to. <laughs> Last time we did this, we were totally, totally unprepared. And yeah, we were so cold. Oh, cattails. Have we had cattails before? I don't think so. Oh, they got they got another encampment here. That's cool. Look at that. It's probably just more rags and pipes and the like. Single box. Some rope. Oh, wow. A full encampment. Oh, okay. Look at that. Fancy this. What's this? Heck yeah. <laughs> yes. Holy crap. Holy crap, where are we? I still want to go around the edge. Uh, now I'm torn. My assumption is this whole area here. These are just... It's just regular equipment, right? Just rags and pipes and the like. Okay. Well, I want... I still want to finish up going around the edge of the... The large tree area. At least we, now we can make ourselves... A fishing rod. I think the thing is... I'm starting to wonder if we need the cattails for the fishing rod. I'm assuming we need jute rope or something, or... I don't know. What's, like, a dowel? Maybe a lot of sticks? No, to the north. There we go. You can see someone, like, a tower. So there's probably another encampment. Oh, there's another encampment. Is there another blueprint? Uh, okay. Quick detour. Quick detour. Because, yeah, we have definitely not been to the encampment here because we just found a blueprint in the encampment oh what 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 yes <laughs> campfire campfire cooking kit we got two in one holy crap all right change of plans bunnies we're headed back to the ca <laughs> we're headed back to the cabin uh you know what can we eat things how about let's just i don't know we'll just eat a pot what should we be grabbing? I feel like... Pipes, I guess? I mean, out of all of this? Gosh, you know what? Ah, screw it. I, I really don't have the space for this. Ah, crap. Alright, bunnies. Full sprint back. Never mind. Never mind. We're headed back. Boy, we got lucky! We got, <laughs> we got so lucky! I thought, oh man, we found a single blueprint! This is amazing! And then we saw something at the distance, and it's like, oh man! Let's, uh, uh, let's just check it out on a whim, and bam, we got a second blueprint. And if you think about it, it was the fishing rod 
It was the campfire, and then it looked like a pot. Did we get all the remaining stuff in one go? Like, right off the bat? We didn't even explore... <laughs> we didn't even... I, mean, I guess that makes sense that they would make the blueprints all close to the center so that you're more likely to discover them, but eat gads, man. Wow, we made out like a bandit. I hope we have enough to make all of these things. And I'm really curious. The one I'm most curious about is a campfire. Like, are we going to need to continue to build campfires? I would assume that you would have to build campfires. They won't stack and they take up space or something like that. But heck, if you can break down the campfire and take it with you, I mean, that's going to be a revolution in camping, but but I love it. I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could kind of do that, but I mean, you can't like reuse. Like, let's say you even had a little wagon with you and carrying weight and how messy it is and all the soot. Because if you burn, if you burn stuff, like if you, let's say you take your pot, you've got a pot, you put it over an open flame. Uh, it's going to get super black on the bottom and anything that it touches is just going to be completely blackened i mean like just dirty 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 so quickly smudge is like charcoal right like can you imagine taking an actual like set of firewood that has been partially burnt and then putting it in your pack oh my gosh that'd be horrible it'd just break apart it would burn things it would just mar things with soot and and dust and everything that'd be really really bad so i'm still guessing that you're going to have to make each campfire. And I'm guessing that if I had to visualize what that campfire would look like when you take it out. Have you ever gone to the, the grocery store and you pick up those like ready to burn logs? They're like individually wrapped logs <laughs> and they're treated so that you don't really have to use much tinder if at all. You just light them straight. I would assume that you're preparing something like that. But All right, bunnies, let's check it out. We did get everything. I think we can make everything now. Wow, we lucked out. That was insane. Holy crap. Okay, fishing rod, jute rope, old rags. Definitely can do that. Campfire cooking pot, steel wire, steel pipe. And then I think it was campfire. Attach the campfire cooking kit to prepare meals. Wow, sticks and jute rope. Okay, so sticks. Is that the only one with sticks? No, no, no. So fishing rod, I want to prioritize. So we need rope and rags. Gosh, if you carry all the stuff, like if you carry the tent, you carry the campfire, you carry the camping, the cook kit, that's going to fill up your whole bag. That's insane. I mean, just like a, just like real life. All right, fishing rod. Heck yes. Beautiful. Of course, we're full. Go figure. Ah, uh, drat. Okay. Let's temporarily store our tent and stuff. All right, here we go. Heck yes. Find a lake and equip your fishing rod to start fishing. Look for ripples on the water to find good fishing spots. Heck yes. All right. And let's see. Campfire. So we're out of sticks. That's fine. We can get two. Campfire cooking kit. Perfect. I'm assuming the wire is for the handle. Beautiful. Stack limit one. And then the last thing that we need. We'll note this item. We're going to need two sticks. So let's get out there. You know what? It's midday. This is perfect. Get ourselves some sticks. All right, we got enough. Here we go, campfire. Heck yes. All right. Warm up during cold nights on the go. Attach the campfire cooking kit to prepare meals. This one right here. Gosh, to prepare meals. I guess we would... Would we need... What if you don't need sticks to cook? This might be better than our oven. Unless it has a limited use. I bet it has a limited use. For science, I think we need to do this. All right, let's go ahead and put away all of the uh, the other items. Like the wire, the rags, the rope. I definitely want the fishing rod. Definitely need the sticks. The planks we do not need. Put the planks back. There we go. Dear God. I remember at one point planks were like the great limiting factor for everything. I'll just save really quickly. Grab this. Sun's going down. That's okay. Oh, uh, let's see. We've got our sticks. We'll go grab all of our kit. Man, we are set. Heck, how about we'll make some chanterelles? Probably the best thing that you can have, right? And let's go outside. This is for science. We're going to use a camping fire right here. Heck, so let's let's simulate. 
This is what you would do in real life. You're close to the base. Uh, you get out your tent. You equip that. Are we too close? Oh, there we go. Maybe we're too close. Now we'll just set this down here. I guess. And then I want the campfire. Place and light campfire. Place cooking kit. Heck yes! Cook food. Yes. I'll just do two at a time. I don't think it's... If this does not use sticks, we're essentially liberated. Oh my god. Holy crap. Alright, keep going, keep going. Wow. If we can pick this up and put it back down, we are golden. I don't know why you'd ever cook inside. Pick up rig. Place cooking kit. Can I pick up the campfire? What if I sleep? Let's sleep. Does the campfire go out? Can you turn it off? Day 18. Oh. <laughs> Although I have to say, if you're going to do a lot of cooking, the campfire might be the way to go. I, does this go away eventually? Can you clean it up? Holy crap. And... Wait, where's our tent? Wait, where's our tent? Oh no, are there a limited number of uses on the tent? Where... Oh no, we lost our tent. Okay, so interesting. So the campfire is one-time use. That makes sense. The tent is... Maybe... Maybe because we were... Maybe it's a bug. Maybe because we were close to our cabin, it disappeared. Oh, that's a bummer. Usually it's a little roll on the ground, right? Wow, I feel a little j oh, I feel I feel a little jacked right now. Let's um hmm. What was it for another tent? More sticks. Ugh, all right. Well, rope is easy. Let's get the sticks though. I'm so curious if if we fall asleep, is that eventually going to despawn? Cuz can you imagine if you surrounded yourself with a whole bunch oops, surrounded yourself with a whole bunch of campfires. It was littered all over the place. Oh, there we go. Six ropes, huh? Uh, well, drop this off. Go grab the rope. Actually getting low on rope. Interesting. Never thought that I'd see the day. It's just like the n never thought I'd see the day when we needed so many sticks. All right, tent it up. There we go. Inventory full. Uh, we are hungry. Eat one of these. I'll grab that. Campfire would be awesome, but I'm telling you right now, we we really... I mean, we don't need to cook when we're out there, if, if I'm completely honest. Day's still up in the air. All right, bunnies. Let's go fishing. Let's freaking go fishing. They said a body of water. If I want to fish, I guess we'll go straight into the frigid lake. I don't know if we'll find any different fish in different places. So that might be kind of interesting to see. Oh, I'm freaking excited. This is going to be great. We should have a proper camping trip. We're going to have a no cook camping trip. So what that means is essentially like there, there obviously there's, there's different levels of, you know what? We're not, we're not going to stop at this lake. Let's, let's go back to the origin. We're going back to where we found the rod. So, so basically there's, there's different levels of, of cooking outdoors, right? So it's like you can either, oh, oops, I'm just sure. You can either like cook your meal in a pot. So just like you would cook at home. Except you're cooking it in your cookingware, your pot. Uh, there's also like freezer bag cooking. So you can take all of your dried ingredients, put it into the, the freezer bag. And then at that point, uh, you just boil up some water. Keeps, your, keeps you from having to do dishes or anything like that. And then toss the boiling water into the freezer bag. Hopefully you're not going to like eat a bunch of plastic. Um... And then it just reconstitutes and heats up your food and then you eat it. And then there's obviously there's there's other methods in between, like whether or not you just need to reconstitute the food. So you just take, you know, water that's been in your bottle and you toss it in to reconstitute some beans uh, and you put it into like a, a jar or a bag in your backpack and you walk around all day. And like a few hours later, uh, the beans are now soaked and are, are good to go. 
And then there's like the no-bake method, where basically all you do is you just take it out of your pack and you eat it. And we've already pre-prepared our meals, so we've got two pots of food. So we're kind of going with the pre-prepared no-bake method, not even needing to cook or anything. Are we getting ready to fish? Oh, cannot be eaten raw. Oh, fine. Goodbye. And let's set up this tent. Should be like a hundred feet from the water. Oh yeah, hey! Look at that! We're totally reusing the space here. Let's put that there. I guess. And let's go! Surprise you don't need any bait or anything. Or like a lure. I said look for ripples, right? There we go. I think I heard that. There's a ripple. I'm gonna reel it in. <laughs> I like how we're... I like how we're... Oh, I see a fish! I see a fish! I feel like we need some bait or something. Cast a line. I like how we still have a leaf. We still have leaves on our fishing rod. Oh, okay. Catching a fish. Reel in by holding. Hold your rod in the opposite direction as the fish is traveling to keep a steady line tension. If the line tension is too high, the line will break. Oh, no. If it breaks, do you lose your rod? All right. All right. If the, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's a little difficult to hold it in the opposite direction because... Because you can't see if you turn your camera. Come on. Oh, this is challenging. He's getting away. <laughs> Hope he gets tired soon. The fish got away. Too little tension. Oh, fine. Let's drag it in. We're reeling. One of these days. Oh, I see tiny little fish there. All right, let's go. I saw I saw some fish. We'll go again. I'm gonna master this. There it is. There it is. Oh, the line broke. Oh, thank God we can still cast. All right, good, good, good. I'm glad this this rod lasts forever. I wonder if there's a difference if you're standing in the water or not. Maybe just casting, casting length. Well, I guess we should probably sleep. We'll get back out here, no problem. We'll head to our tent. It was a learning experience. We'll just call it a learning experience. I wish we could use these as fire. There we go. Going into day 19. I swear, by the end of this episode, we're going to catch one fish. No matter what. Okay. We weren't having much luck on this side of the lake. Although, actually, can I get my tent? I don't want to lose it again. Let's do that first. Oh, starving. Done. Handled. I guess. Beautiful. All right, let's go. We got our pack. We're good to go. Another thing that would be interesting is if we could upgrade our pack, right? Carry more stuff. Chanterelles. And can I hook a bunny? Can I, like, can I cast out and hook a bunny? Probably not, but that would be amazing. All right, we'll get over here. Like to get over into all these cattails. Or better yet, like out here. All right, this is like a real fishing spot now. All right, come on, fish. You met your match today. see anything oh there we go there we go there it is see you i see you under the water there it is opposite you gotta go opposite how do you even modulate there's it's only it's very binary only up or down oh my gosh Holy crap, is he on the is he on the land? <laughs> what? What is this? He's on the land. What? He's flying in the sky. Wait, what's happening? 
I don't even know what they're... Look where my... Do you see where my line is right now? <laughs> oh man, we found a super fish. <laughs> How are we going to... Look, look at this line. I might as well zip line across the pond. What the heck is this? <laughs> I think he's cheating. Is it even possible to catch a fish right now? What in the world? Okay, maybe we need to move to a new location. These fish are too strong. All right, tell you what, tell you what. We'll zoom on over to the other lake. Yeah, we're freezing. All right. Uh, where is it at? We'll go down here. It's probably easier for whatever reason. I think we'll be okay. We'll eat the chanterelle to control our temperature a little bit. Let's do it. I don't know. I mean, what do you use the sewing thread for? You know what I mean? I mean, like, obviously you, you need the fishing bone for the needle. All right, we're here. See, standing on top of this rock would not be a good idea. Gotta find these fish. Don't see anything here. If you hear a splash, definitely want chanterelles in case I, you know, <laughs> fall in the water, get cold. Maybe it's too deep. Let's get on the opposite side. I'm not seeing any splashes. Oh, that... that I'm a little disappointed, actually. Well, that's okay. Maybe on the edge. Because it seems like when you find a body of water, there's only certain places where the fishes are. Like, this would be a nice spot. Might as well just cast anyway. Can I cast on the ground? That'll be interesting. Can I cast on the ground? No. But I can cast in the water. Hmm. I don't think there are any fish here. That's a bummer. I mean, the only other place with real water is way to the northeast. Well, bunnies, for science, I'm going to zip on out there and let's go find out. So here we are. We're all the way at the edge. This is for science. Something tells me that they're, the only place to fish might be the lake where we discover the fishing rod. But as we go up the coast, it's very possible that we'll discover an even better fishing spot. And this seems to be less filled with obstacles, right? We want to look for ripples. Don't see any ripples. If we swim across, it looks to be a little embankment over there. Although I'd imagine we get really cold. Let's toss it out here. This might be too deep, you know? And oh, we might have an issue if... Should I swim? I really don't have the food to recover. Can't go under the water. Oh, our temperature's dropping pretty quickly. Oh, and it's raining. <laughs> this is a bad idea. All right, it's a bad idea. Although if we die, maybe we'll respawn at the cabin. We don't have to walk out there. Oh, yeah. No, that's not good. Uh, I think... I think the only place to catch fish is back at that strange and magical lake with flying fish. That's kind of a bummer. Well, at least at least we know. At least we've, we've, uh, we have suspicions. I was hoping to get over to wherever that... It looks like there's a beach where my cursor is right now at the edge. Fish from there, but if we don't have it here, then I guess we're not going to have it back there. So uh, the sun's still high. Well, we'll just wait till we have to eat. Let's head back. So we got one, one serious crack at it right now. Watch for the ripples. We know there are ripples here for sure. There it is. All right. I'm going to stand right over here so we don't have to worry about any weird obstacles. As close as possible. There's some fish right there. I can see them under the surface. There we go. There we go. Here we go. It's 
strangely enough, like maybe maybe you don't want to be too far in the opposite direction of where they're traveling, you know? Oh, serious? Okay. I wonder if they're all asleep now. The sun is going down. I'm going to see these little pulses, but I'm not getting bites anymore. Oh. There we go. There we go. You hold down the real... You hold it down. You hold it down. Oh! Yes! Oh, man. Gosh, that was freaking hard. <laughs> Holy crap, buddies, we got it! Oh, you automatically get a bone and you get a fillet. Fillet and a bone. Oh, can we eat it immediately? Raw? Eat it raw? This protein-rich food is highly nutritious and delicious. Heck yes. Fantastic. Well, holy crap, buddies, we finally caught a fish. It seems like the trick was to hold down the mouse button so you're constantly reeling in. And then modulate it left and right in the opposite direction of the fish, but not too far away that you spike up the tension and not too close to where the fish is going so that the tension is too low and that was a trick you don't want to just start tapping the mouse button but we figured it out we got a fish we've got fish bone well a fish bone now so we should be able to make sewing thread i don't know what that's used for probably a decoration or something but i'm really really glad that we finally caught our very first perch so buddies let me know what you thought in the comments below if you like the video, a thumbs up always helps us out. I had a total blast. I hope you did as well. And I can't wait to get into the next one with you. Have a good night.